There is a change in leadership at St. John's Abbey following a sex abuse allegation from 30 years ago. Earlier this month, a letter came to the Minnesota Monastery accusing Father Tom Andert of abusing a former student at St. John's Preparatory School in Collegeville. Andert is second in charge at the Abbey. He has now stepped back from his duties as prior. Rachel Slavic explains why, even if this allegation is corroborated, no charges could be filed in this case. St. John's Abbey stands unchanged on the campus of St. John's University, but within the walls, there's a shift in leadership. Father Tom Ander, the monastery's prior or second in command, stepped aside for now following accusations he molested a former student. I wish I could say it was surprise, and, I, and it's even, even some of the shock value kind of worn off. I, I still get angry, I, and I think we should. Frank Muirs has fought for transparency in church sex abuse cases. He believes this latest allegation is an example of the monastery refusing to change what he calls a culture of secrecy. You can defrock him, quit playing his insurance, quit playing his retirement. Do something that makes it look like you're doing something. This isn't the first time a monk has been the focus of a sexual abuse investigation. The Abbey has a list of 18 monks with credible claims of child molestation over the last 40 years. Andert is not on it. The Abbey says it's investigating this latest allegation. This stuff exists. They simply ignore it because they can get away with it. Any potential punishment will become the monastery's responsibility. No criminal charges can be filed since the alleged abuse has happened three decades ago beyond the statute of limitations. And even if they're not criminally liable, aren't they, aren't they operating under the auspices of a religion, of a church? Wouldn't you say they have a moral obligation? Don't you think it's against moral law? In a statement, an Abbey spokesman said that letter offered few details into the alleged abuse. That statement went on to say the monastery went beyond its required policy in asking Father Andrew to step back during this investigation. The Abbey says the person who wrote the letter has been referred to victim support. Do you know if Father Andrew has been accused of any other sexual abuse in the past? Is this the first time we've heard anything about it? You know, it's not. About 25 years ago, the Abbey says someone questioned correspondence between Andert and a young man whom he was counseling. Now, that person never filed an official claim, and in his 40-year tenure, the Abbey said they have no other incidents or allegations filed against Father Andert. All right, Rachel. Thank you.